Howdy folks, Elk Rex here. And what we have here is a battle report of the Westlow Rangers versus a uh, planetary defense force of the Capella Confederation. Uh, the Westlow Rangers went in and did a uh, raid on a facility to capture and replace some materials. And the, this was the medium engagement of the uh, initial after landing, they had to go in and uh, doing a quick assault, go in and the uh, Compella Confederation Defense Force, they cobbled together some units together and put up some resistance before they uh, had their little factory hit. Now, what we have here is the um, force of the Wessel Rangers. They had a commando, a Jenner, a Clint, and a dervish and a quick reaction force and then they had a thunderbolt warhammer marauder ryan victor and a hunchback and they're uh, kind of a slow moving force which is their fixation that's the uh, anvil and the quick force is supposed to be their hammer then the uh compellans they had a hunchback thunderbolt archer and a vindicator and a, a unit of um, a, two demolishers and two von Luckners and four Savannah Masters. Now, uh, the initial engagement, the rule rolled for uh, initiative, and the Wessel Rangers won the initiative and in, uh, forcing the uh, compellents to move first. So they moved out and. Uh, um, the compellents, they basically kind of tried, looked at the, uh, the map and realized that a, uh, there was a kind of an area in the middle that if they got into the wooded and hunkered down, they could use it as a, uh, kind of a, kind of a bunker. So they didn't have to move and they just shoot out of it, you know, from the woods without having to move, thus making it easier for them to hit. And then the, uh. Wessel Rangers, they decided, well, speed is going to be our friend here, so if we can get around them and get in and hit the flanks, we can do a good job. So they go in, and uh, for some reason, one of the uh, compelling units, uh, the Hunchback, he decides to do a quick end around off to the uh, southern flank and uh, open himself up for a bunch of long range fire from LRMs and a couple PPCs and the uh, Wessel Rangers did I think it was 23 24 points of damage on it and so that force have to make a uh, <coughs> pilot check and after doing the pilot check he fell it's like okay he failed that so he falls all right falls on his right side all right Right side does uh, basically five points damage to himself from the fall. And let's say, where does it go? And you roll snake eyes. Ooh, not good. So chance critical, rolled a uh, 11, I think it was, and caused two crits on himself, and one of them was ammo. So fails pilot check, sets off his AC-20 ammo, and explodes and turns himself into a little crater. Not good. Then... So the, uh, let's just say the uh, Wessel Ranger uh, commander was very happy. Then they go in and decide to uh, move forward. And uh, sorry, all right, they got them locked down here. The Savannah Masters go flying around. You know, those are 13, 20 movers. So they go flying around the flank, just flying across the field. And the whole purpose of them was to get around into the backside and start shooting into the rear. And it kind of worked good on the second turn when they got around the flank. But uh, on the second turn, as the uh, Wessel Rangers come around the wooded uh, area and were able to um, fire on some targets, they, right, the first turn they took out, you know, the, uh, or the second turn, something like that. They took out that hunchback. And the second turn, or third turn, I think it's the third turn, they, uh, Looked at the targets as like, okay, let's just take out the Vindicator, which was a 45 tonner, I think it is, 40. And 
it's like deja vu. They did enough damage to it. It falls because he failed his pilot check again. And guess what? He does five points of damage to himself. Where's it go? Snake eyes. Guess what? Basically almost the same exact thing. I think it was this time he fell on his left side and it sets off the LRM ammo or something like that. And the LRM goes boom. So he explodes himself. So two lucky shots, two failed pilot checks, and suddenly the uh, Capellan Confederation is having a bad day. It's like two mechs out and two turns just from bad pilot rolls and just lucky snake eyes. Just the way it works, I guess. So, and then the uh, Capellans realize that this is on the not going to, they're going to need to move up some of uh, the heavy armor so the tanks go flying out and uh, go ripping forward to get themselves into range to be able to shoot some targets because suddenly all these uh, mechs are coming right down the center and the uh, if you look the uh, let's see what we got here um, yeah the uh, everybody opens up and they're kind of focusing on that uh, Thunderbolt in the beginning of the opposing Thunderbolt and they're just going to give it uh, as much firepower as possible. The Savannah Masters come around the backside and open up and the they concentrate on the one mech and basically it's kind of ineffectual firepower. Now you get one shot with a medium laser and you know, a little plinking here and there is, is like hoping to get shots on the back, taking off that armor and just concentrate it. But the shots went into the arms and legs. So it was like, okay, that's not so great. Doing damage, but it's not that great. Then uh, they get into kind of a scrum right here. The heavy tanks move up. The Victor comes and the Thunderbolt move over to it. They unload with it. The uh, two... Demolishers just unload on the poor uh, Orion. They hit with four AC-20 shots, but one in each leg, and then I think it was one, yes, yeah, like one torso, something like that. But chance of criticals in both legs, if I remember right. And uh, he comes kind of failed his pilot check. No, that was later on. He did. That was the second time because the tank backed up and then it got hammered but the uh, thunderbolt and the victor unload onto the the side flank of that first demolisher and uh, just pummel it in the flank and then the uh, thunderbolt kick staves in the side with a good kick taking it out now on the back side we had the fast remove uh, reaction force going around the back side and they run into those von Luckners and the dervish with a lucky shot he turns around and pumps two lrm 10s into the front uh, von lechter one shot goes into the turret chance of critical and gets the uh, the crit and the next thing you know it was like where's it go oh it hits the ammo <laughs> so it takes like 12 points of damage and you get one of the shots goes right into the turret takes out the ammo and boom turns it into a crater but the uh, two von Luchters swung their, their their turrets around and hit that poor Clint two AC 20s to the chest no more Clint that's the only damage that Clint took and basically you're watching auto cannon fire go punching out the backside it's like went through the front and out the back corded out and crash boom done no more Clint but at the cost of a Von Lechter. So they changed, exchanged a uh, Clint for a Von Lechter. Uh, then in the front, the uh, hunchback of the Westlow Rangers walks up and gets right into the face, shutting down the LRMs of the uh, um, archer so he can't use them. So he has to like take a, a bad shot at, uh, I think it was the, maybe, yeah, it was the Orion. And 
basically does nothing and it takes uh, an AC-20 to the right arm and then two medium lasers I think into the right oh, everything goes into the right arm tears the arm off and then starts pumping into the uh, uh, right torso and just to let you know in the second turn he fires that same eight the next turn he fires the AC-20 into that archer hits it in the left arm and both medium lasers also hit he's getting kind of warm here and then next thing you know it's like it's the left arm just like exact opposite both arms are gone so now you have an archer denuded of arms this guy's starting to turn into a zombie mech and uh so he, it's just trying to survive and he's just looking for targets to shoot with his lrms out at range without too many modifiers for being too close then uh the yeah, this is where the um, demolisher backs up, trying to give him some space. The uh, Orion walks right up to it, expecting to kick it. And the Victor's in the flank also, and they unload into it. And the uh, Victor pumps all of his shots, hit into the side flank, takes that out. And then... Uh, at the same time, the demolisher pumps two more, <laughs> hits them twice with the two uh, AC 20s, and just cores out this poor Orion. And he just kaplunk, done. Just lands in a big heap. And then the other uh, Von Luchter in the back, he keeps backing up and pumps uh, some stuff down range, basically misses. Uh, with the uh, yeah, hits misses with the AC-20 and does some minor damage with the uh, short-range missiles on the Victor as it's coming in its face there. Now the uh, you see a picture where you have the poor um, Thunderbolt he's parked there and the Marauder unloads with it it's the two uh, PPCs, and he shoots his uh, auto cannon into it. Hits with everything, rolls, puts an AC-5 into the head, and um, both crits center torso, chance of critical. Hits the uh, the uh, gets uh, four. I think it was it three or four uh, crits on him. Takes out the gyros. And then takes out and it hits an engine hit. He falls, kaboom. And since he already had an open chest already from all the damage coming in on him from the previous turns, he basically falls, crunch, and pretty much laying there, uh, almost cored out. And then the uh, mech just kicks him in the chest and takes him completely out with a kick to the chest. So that takes him out. So it's not doing too well for the entire group. Now those Savannah Masters are whipping around, shooting people in the back. He does, those Savannah Masters go over to that Dervish, hits the Dervish in the back with three medium lasers, does a bunch of damage, almost cores out. It's like 15 points damage into the, right in the center torso rear of this Dervish. And it, later on you can see it, it's the Dervish, so I'd say, uh, I'm just going to jump, try to get away from these guys and cause, because they're just ripping around. This is what you call a Savannah Swarm. You know, when you got 215 point value to value, little guys just whipping around really fast. It's hard, you know, you just ignore them most of the time because you can't hit them. So that's what's going on there. Now, pretty much the, uh, the commander, he decides enough's enough. Uh, he's just gonna take the Savannah Masters and reposition and the, the Von Luckner, he's just backing up, but he ends up getting cored out and then the uh, Archer gets uh, hit again by the Marauder, the uh, Warhammer, and the Thunderbolt and the Hunchback and just gets ripped to pieces and uh, the follow-on forces come in and just start doing some salvage while they're hitting the the factory later on so they're going to get a little bit of salvage out of this little encounter now this was a battle of the 11,000 points with the Wessel Rangers versus the Capella Confederation a raid by a mercenary force 
And I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, this is Hulk Rex. And we'll talk to you later.